Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at ratios, and more specifically, part-to-part -part ratios, which just means that we're going to compare in our ratio one part of the group to another part of the group. So for example, in number one here, we have the ratio of soccer balls to basketballs, right? They're both part of the whole group of balls, so a part compared to another part. So first, order matters of our ratio. So first, we need to find how many soccer balls. Well, we have an array of three by four, which would give us 12 soccer balls. And 12 to four basketballs. Again, both are part of the whole group of the balls. That's why we call it part to part. Um, and this one can be simplified, so we always want to simplify our ratios. So the greatest common factor between 12 and 4, let's divide them both by 4 to get our simplified ratio. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 2 4 divided by 4 is 1, so 3 to 1. Or we could write it like this, or fractional form as well, 3 to 1. Let's take a look at number 2. Mo has 7 sports video games, 3 racing video games, and 8 action video games. So part A, what is the ratio of action games to racing games? So this is another part-to-part -part ratio because the action games are a part of all of his games and the racing games are a part of the whole group of all of the games. So action games would be 8, 2, and then racing games would be 3. So 8 to 3. And that ratio cannot be simplified, so we keep it as 8 to 3. Remember, order matters. Action games had to come first and racing games second. So for part B, racing games comes first and uh, the second number is going to be the sports games. So racing games, we have three, two, how many sports games? Seven, so three to seven. So for every three racing games, there are seven sports games. That one is in simplest form uh, already as well, so we keep it 3 to 7. So again, part to part, two parts of the whole group being compared uh, through that ratio. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.